six if you include the starting pitcher. Fastball taken for a strike. Swing and a miss there. A nice pitch. That's when it matters. Had him out on the front foot with another cutter. Swung right through it. That's two quick strikeouts. Ballpark at all parts. And this one's ball four. And I'll tell you another thing. The 3-1 pitch hit on the screws right at the right fielder. He's tracking back, but he doesn't have enough room. This one off the top of the wall. Tommy Tanks will stand in with a lead or a double, a two-out double, which will score Cruz from first base. Tigers on top, one to nothing. Well, add another hard hit ball to the inning as that one was hit extremely hard. And I'm running. I'm surprised it didn't go through the wall, Doug. In the Monday game against Butler. Ball four, low and away. Beloso takes his walk to first base. On a double off the top of the right field wall by Tommy Banks. Runners off with the pitch. That one sails high, and it's ball four. In your lead team. This one's hit off the hands, but it's going to get up the middle. A nice diving effort by Kirkland Banks to keep it in the infield. The runners will all advance 90 feet. And before I could get his name out of my mouth, Brady Neal with an infield single drives the second run into the game for the Tigers. Yeah, just a little jam shot that was hit perfectly uh, you said it banks did a good job of it just keeping it in front and saving a run but 2-2 two -two pitch swing and a miss had him out on the front foot and that'll do it the pitch this one's hit well but right at Dugas at second goes down to a knee and fields it Beloso keeps the foot on the bag as the throw brought him a little bit down the line Fastball just misses upstairs. Dugas will draw a walk. Again, see if he can throw the ball over the plate. And he cannot on one. that one. <laughs> Not on that one. That one catches Morgan right on the lower back. He'll jog down to first base. The call on that one, it's 0-1 to Cruz. This one is hit. Almost, almost breaks Gavin Dugas' knee. Couldn't have been hit much harder right back up the middle. Tigers put another run on the board on the RBI single. Off the bat of Dil Dylan Cruz, Buzzy, I don't know that you ever hit a ball that hard oh, in your whole life. A couple times. I mean, you, did you see that? You're talking to the guy who hit the last home in Old Alex Box Stadium. But no, I, it, that ball was hit. That was hit very well. But we're gonna. Odom with the pitch to White. Bye. This one is crushed to right field. I think you're right, Buzz. This one is gonna come down as home run number three for Tommy White. Apo Taco, a three-run job. It is now six to nothing, Tigers. Well, I wasn't able to get the words out of my mouth before Tommy White deposited that ball in the right field bleachers, but I was just about to say, as hard as Cruz hit it, there's liable to be one right behind it as Tommy White seems to be seeing the ball really well over the last four to five games, and that's what's impressive is hitting the ball out of the ballpark that way. I mean, it couldn't have been more way out opposite too. field. 383 feet. It left the bat at 102 miles an hour. Another one of those seniors hitting 270 on the season. Swings at one in the dirt there. Neil will tag him out, fire it around. That's one quick out for Christian Little, another Super One Food strikeout. Ten run rule is in effect. The runner is off with the pitch, slapped right at the third baseman. They go five to four to three. <laughs> Napolt just hit it too hard. Ethan Ruiz has been very good for the Tigers so far. Works it to a 1-0 count. But Ryan Snell jumps all over the next pitch and drives it into the Caesars Sportsbook left field landing. Snell, the most dangerous hitter in this lineup. Led the team in home runs coming into the game with four. That's now five. Also led in RBIs and doubles. Well, now you see why he's been named to the Johnny Bench Award watch list. This one's hit on a line to right field, but it looks like it'll be right at Bumpus, who comes in charging. The throw will come home, and they will get Brady Neal at home plate on the tag up. A perfect bullseye strike throw from Bumpus out in right field. He was behind the line drive, and that will do it for the Tigers. 
3-2 pitch. We'll see which one they go with. Another breaking ball, and this one is hit off the end of the bat out to left field. It will get down in front of Morgan. Banks thought about trying to score from second, but they hold him up. A run will come in to score. That's Ryan Snell who reached with a hit by pitch, and it'll be first and third. Scores now 6-2 to two with one out in the top of the sixth. It was good base running by Banks as he knew that ball was going to get down, but with one out. Breaking ball down in the dirt, gets into swing and miss. First base is occupied, so he'll head back to the dugout. That's a big second out for Garrett Edwards. Fans showing their support. Here's the 3-2, fastball, two hopper out to Thompson. Shortstop fires it across the diamond, a strike to Beloso. And that's going to do it for the Cardinals here in the top of the six. I know, but I mean, I should have got it eventually. Here's the 0-1, and it is hammered to left center. Kevin Bermudez, the left fielder, didn't move a step as Paxton Kling has hit his second home run of the purple and gold. 417 feet. Another ball leaves the bat over 100 miles an hour. That one 105. It's 7 to 2. And as we're talking about former Tiger players, I look up and I see a ball. Looked like it was heading to Tiger Stadium with our view. <laughs> Tiger Football Stadium with our view here. I mean, I'm not buying the track, man. I think that was further than 417. No, I believe it was. And it was very reminiscent of my former teammate, of course, Brandon Larson. So we've got guys throwing this way. This one's hit hard, but right at the shortstop. Has trouble fielding it cleanly, and Cruz will reach on the routine grounder out to short. Took a maybe a little bad hop right when it got to him, but... I probably. guarantee you this guy gets you a first down on third and one. Breaking ball is a strike. Cruz off with the pitch. He'll be in safely. Can hit. You're usually going to hit it 3-1. And Tommy White gets hit in the back. He's got a chance to do some damage. And he does. Line drive out into the left center field gap. And it's going to get down for at least a base hit. Malazzo thought about stretching it into two. But he goes back, Cruz comes in easily to score, and Tommy White, well, no, Mick Paul, actually, who's running for White, gets from first to third, so the Tigers will have runners at first and third now with one out. They lead eight to two. I don't know if it was that far, though. This one is wrapped to left field. It'll get down, might be extra bases. Mick Paul will come in to score. Jordan Thompson in with a sliding double. Another RBI for Thompson. Tigers lead it by a score now of 9-2. to two. Hey, Coach Johnson put the bun on early with Thompson and didn't, wasn't able to execute. He says, I'm not going to let you down. Coach just wraps one, as you said, Doug, down the left field line. That ball was hit well. If anybody but – ball was hit too well, but Malazzo not a great runner. This one's hit off the end of the bat. It's going to be trouble in shallow center field. Nice job there from McNaughton to cover the ground to come in and get it. This one is hit high in the air to right center field. McNaughton gives it chase just shy of the warning track. Pulls it off the top of the grass. Swing and a miss, blew it right by him for strike number three and that will put this one in the books. Thank <laughs> you.